And now, around the world and around the corner, it's the David Bowers Award, bringing the best in indie music to millions of listeners worldwide with your host, the David Bowers. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests, our entire crew here at the Asylum, and me, I'm John Bon Jovial. And now, here's the voice of indie music, the David Bowers. I certainly am right here. Take a look. You'll see me. I'm sitting here big as life and happy to be here, too. I'm happy to have you all here with us. Glad to have you on board for another round of the David Bowers Awards. Some great music coming up for you. Our first one is a repeat performance. We had the Lucas Brothers Band on here about six months ago, April 26th to be exact. And uh, one of the songs they previewed for us off their new album was called Padre Island. They have now released that as a single. And in case you missed it, we're going to give it to you again. So here they are, the Lucas Brothers with Padre Island. I've got my flip-flops on. Sing the Jimmy Buffett Island song. Hear the beach and some cool wet sand. Pretty island girls checking out my van. Surfing girls from dust till dawn. Texas beaches are pretty dang long. Wish I could find a way and stay. Living on the beach here in four days. Padre Island where the seagulls fly. Blue water and a clear blue sky. The sand in between my toes. No hurry I go with the flow. Shrimp boats cruising on the water. Man, I couldn't have a better day. Go on a star in a beach bar. Solo gig and an old guitar. Part in every island bar in town. Cooling off and the sun going down. Moon coming up, it sure looks fine. The Gulf breeze helps me to unwind. Sea breeze feels so soft on my skin Not like any place I've ever been Well, beach combing and some fishing line A poor day would do me just fine Padre Island where the seagulls fly Blue water and a clear blue sky Well, I'm sand in between my toes And no hurry I Beach 
Padre Island, the Lucas Brothers, and uh, we thank them for letting us uh, play their new release on the show here today after having premiered it six months ago. And it uh, just shows you how, how this uh, current plan that artists are using of releasing you know, a song every month or two and stretching it out, making an album out of it. It's a good thing. I really like that. I like the tune. It's a, it's a nice, easygoing, kind of a Jimmy Buffett type song. This makes you want to kick off your shoes, go walking in the sand with a cold one in your hand, don't it, John Don Jovio? Well, I tell you what, it kind of reminded me of the uh, life of a bum that I had myself back in the 70s when I lived on Treasure Island in uh, the south, uh, well, not the southwest, but the west coast of Florida. Uh, kind of a suburb of St. Pete, but we were on the beach in these shacks, and they were falling down, but we didn't care because, you know, we were in our 20s and drinking beer and chasing women and smoking things that in some states are legal now. Uh, so, yeah, that, 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 remember, that, brings back, that brings back a time or two. Yeah, I, re- I remember stopping over there. Now, not that the life you've got now in Naples is all that bad because you're not that far from the beach, but I remember stopping over and seeing you at least one time there. Uh, during your Treasure Island days, I remember we we stopped in some place and watched the fight and on TV. I mean, we weren't involved in an actual brawl, but <laughs> <laughs> I do remember. Well, I that. witnessed a couple of those too. I bet you did. <laughs> but uh, great to be where we are now. Great to have all of you folks listening with us, and uh, great to get to know people like Linda Lucas and the Lucas Brothers Band. Check them out online. Lucas Brothers Band, so you don't get them confused with anybody else on there. And uh, remember, of course, the David Bowers Awards, the show where every show is an award show because there are so many. We might just as well make them all award shows. So we did. And if you know an artist that you think deserves to be heard on the show or maybe even guest on the show, send us their name and a link to their music or bio or something so that, you know, we know how to contact them. We can check them out, see what they sound like. And uh, maybe we'll get them here on the show and uh, you'll get to hear them right here on the David Bowers Awards. want to thank our friends at Rochester Free Radio, WRFZ, FM 106.3 in Rochester, New York, who uh, proudly carry the David Bowers Awards every Saturday at noon, along with some other great music programs including Steve Litvak's Rock and Roll Rumble, which follows us on Saturday, and Ari Schaubrook's, um, I forget what his show is called, uh, Ari Steals, or no, no, it's Armand, Armand Steals, Ari is, Eric is his son. I get those two confused. We're going to have to get together with Armand and Eric and uh, get that straightened out, but check them out. Some great music, a lot of stuff you may never have heard before, some of which you may never hear again, but you'll definitely not forget the rock and roll on on uh, WRFC FM 106.3. That's Rochester Free Radio. Also a salute to Titty Bingo, who provide us our theme music every week, and we thank them so much for it. John Bon Jovial, what do you got going in your world today, not going back to the old days? Well, yeah, the new days, is, I guess is what you could call it. Uh, you know, just living the, the life of leisure, if you want to call it that, here in <laughs> southwest Florida. Uh, a.k.a. the swamp, where the humidity is huge and so are the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes, but yes. Y- y- you learn to accept it after a while. Uh, taking a little bit of a break, uh, the wife and I are heading up to uh, Michigan to go visit her side of the family here in a couple of days and looking forward to getting some nice crisp fall weather, uh, maybe some fresh apples out of the orchards up there in Michigan. That would be and good. Of course, the fall colors. And, mm-hmm. yes, very much looking forward to the break, seeing is that, uh, uh, you know, Johnny Boy here hasn't had a vacation in about five, six years, and so I am quite ready. But when you live near the beach like you do, every day is a vacation. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, don't I, why don't I get the feeling that you put any real meaning into that. <laughs> oh, oh, so you detected that note of facetiousness in my voice, did you? Yeah, facetiousness is one yeah. word, sarcasm. Uh, there's a few other that I Bull won't go into. Oh, no, I can't say that. No, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, we can carry that broadcast radio, so we have to, we have to maintain a, a degree yep. of, uh, of modicum. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> modicum We've got a couple of great guests for you. Such Unfortunately, as we are. one of our guests that... <laughs> 
I was going to say one of them couldn't make it, but then I got to thinking, wait a minute, that would sound like we only have one guest. Not quite true. We had a pair of guests who were supposed to be with us today. Unfortunately, one of them was unable to make it due to, uh, well, he and his wife's new baby. And uh, I know how that goes. I'm sure you do too, John. Every now and then those things happen. But uh, Iona James and Clint Slate were supposed to be, this was supposed to be the show where we got the two of them on the show together. That's not going to happen this time. But Iona is going to be with us anyway to talk about their new album. And we will be going into that in, uh, well, you know, 20 minutes or so. But we have a guest coming up here shortly that we are going to talk to who is another one of the people who have one of these groups going that is not just a band where you say, you know, it's uh, Joe Blow and his band. Uh, that they, It's another one of these products uh, where they call it a collective, where they have a group of musicians, musicians together producing music, but not going as a band name per se. They call themselves Country Well, Drink More. That's the name of the album. And uh, the collective is led by a guy named Don Zimmer, who we'll be, we'll be talking to in about, oh, I don't know, four minutes or so, right after we listen to this track, the title track from their album called Drink More. There you go. Drink More, featuring Michaela French. That's Country Well Drink More is what the collective is called. And here to tell us about it is Mr. Don Zimmer. Hello, Don. Hello. Thanks for having me on. Glad to have you here. Tell us a little bit now. We've we've been experiencing more and more uh, groups of artists who get together in a, in a collective or project type of form. And uh, tell us a little bit about the concept between behind Country Well Drink More. Sure, sure. Um... Well, I have a small recording studio. I've been in bands when they've bigger operations, and when they record, try to record drums properly, it takes a lot of microphones, it takes a lot of room, and I don't have that kind of 
uh, a facility that I 